Hey guys, Mike Martinez. Hope everybody is doing well. And here is what we're going to be discussing today. One technique, one technique that can start your mind bringing to you what it is that you want. But you got to do this very intentionally. We'll be right back. We're going to discuss this. Start using this. And I'm telling you, you're going to turn things around over the next few months. I'll be right back. Hey guys, Mike Martinez, and you know what? A lot of times people are saying, uh, what do I need to do? How do I start this process of, of attracting things to me? How do I uh, start aligning myself with the, with the law of attraction? Because that's all you can do. You know what? The law of attraction is constantly working, constantly in effect. It's like the law of gravity, right? You never, you never escape that. But the problem is that a lot of times we just we're, we're, we're playing tug of war with it because we're not aligning ourselves properly with it. And here's what I want to tell you. If you go out there and, and uh, let me put it this way. What is actually aligning yourself with the with the law of attraction? You know what that is? That is getting crystal clear in your mind and, and using all the 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 weapons that you have. And you have six different weapons to do this. We'll discuss this at another time. But. One of the key weapons is getting absolutely clear on what it is that you want to accomplish, right? And a lot of times, you know, I I, uh, I ask people these questions a lot, a lot, and 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 they give me fuzzy, hazy answers, unclear answers, and that's exactly what you get, right? When you got scattered thinking, you produce scattered actions, and when you produce scattered actions, you get scattered results. So. Here's what I'm going to tell you. There is a tremendous amount of power when you can describe what your ideal day would be. What would your ideal day be, right? Is your ideal day what you're living now, right? Which is, uh, you know, I get up at the with the alarm clock at 6.30 in the morning and uh, I stumble out of bed and I go wash up, jump in the shower and uh, get dressed and fight traffic to get to work. And then, uh, you know, I, I, I have to sit next to the cubicle of the person that I really don't like, or I have to go do this job with a person that I, I you know, right? A lot of people going through that on a, in, uh, on a, on a consistent everyday uh, routine. What I'm telling you is, if your mind is not clear on what your ideal day is, and let me tell you something, guys, that is probably the most specific and most uh, identifiable thing that you can do is to be able to break down what your ideal day is. Because once your mind understands that, it starts to bring the people, the circumstances, the things that you need to make that happen. And it happens on an automatic basis, but you have to be clear. Most people are just not clear. Most people have no idea, right? If you ask them, what's your ideal business day? If you're running a business, what would be your ideal business day? You know, and, and this is how I got taught this, this technique because one of my mentors said to me, hey, Mike, what would your ideal business day be? And I was stumbling, right? I was stuttering because I couldn't. I couldn't come up with that answer right away. And he, 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 you know, threw it in my face. You're stuttering, Mike. You don't, you don't know what the ideal day is. How do you expect to reach that ideal? And, and that was, that was like a slap in the head, right? It made me think, yes, you know, my ideal day would be, you know, doing this and this and this and this and this. And I'll tell you what, guys, once I identified that, and here's what you got to do right? You got to write that down. And I'll tell you, once you, uh, the first day that you write it, you're not going to get the, 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 the clear focus idea yet. It takes some rewriting. 
It takes some rewriting tomorrow and the next day. And look at that again and say, is that really what? No, you know what? I'd like to do it this way. And, and describe it in a more precise way, right? But when you do that, you open the doors for your mind to attract those things and those people and those circumstances to you. And I'm telling you guys, I didn't uh, achieve my ideal day in business until I described that. And once I, I, I did describe it, then I was hitting it much, much more often. The point is this. Can you and have you describe your ideal day? Can you go out there and, and, and put that into words, put that into a picture in your mind, a movie in your mind where you are saying, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want. When you do that, you open the doors. When you do that, you start attracting the powers and the, and, and, and the influence and the people and the things and the circumstances to you. And that's what you need to do. You need to bring it to you. You need to become the person that attracts that type of lifestyle. You need to become the person that attracts those people. You need to become the person because of your thinking, because you were clear, because you went out there and 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 specifically detailed what it was that you're looking to do. Your mind is now clear. Your mind is now drawing that to you. And that is the key. That is the key. You know, so many of us just go around <laughs> whistling through the day and and we don't we don't really understand what it is that we want. We don't really have a clear picture of what it is that we want. And so we get whatever comes our way. Right. Sometimes a lot of times that's not the ideal situation. The ideal situation is for you to be clear, for you to understand, for you to uh, have in your mind, this is what I am after. Bring it to me. Right? You don't even have to say bring it to me. It happens automatically. And the more you focus on that ideal day, that's why I'm saying write it down today in your journal and then tomorrow refine it. My ideal day would be. And then the next day, refine it even more. My ideal day would be, and that's how you start attracting those things, guys. You know what? I am I am just absolutely psyched about, about 2020 and, and about moving my life to the next level and about, you know, helping as many people as I can do that. Because you know what? Uh, the information that we talk about on this channel is something that, you don't hear it quite often. You don't hear it out there. And it's little simple distinctions that once you put them into play, you see things happen. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Whatever you hear in this channel, don't just take it for my word. And it's not because I'm trying to, to deceive you in any way. But what I am trying to do is to push you to the level where you are proving things to yourself. Because once you get to that point, once you start proving things to yourself, guess what? Now your mind puts that switch on. Hey, that's true. And once your mind starts believing things, that's it. That's all you need. You need just to, for your mind to accept it. Now it goes into your subconscious mind and that starts happening on an automatic level. We talk about that. If you haven't seen that video, go back a few videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. But this is about trying a simple strategy and trying another strategy and trying it again tomorrow and seeing, being aware to see, hey, you know what? Wow, that person can now help me, right? That's how it happens, guys. That's how it happens. And it's up to you to make it happen. Here's the deal. Here's, here's the, 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 the final thought. I cannot control your thinking. Your mom can't control your thinking. Your dad can't control your thinking. Your priest can't control your thinking. Uh, unfortunately, uh, and, and, and I'm talking about they can't control your thinking as far as what it is that you want. They can control your thinking by putting things in there that you may or may not want or you may or may not accept. But because you are not actively, intentionally, specifically, putting things in your mind, other people will. Other institutions will. 
other people that may or may not have your best interests in mind. So if you want to gain control of your actions, you want to gain control of what's coming into your life, you want to gain control of, of the results that you produce, start controlling this here, right? And you start by defining what would your ideal day be? What would your ideal month be? What would your ideal year be? You start defining that now and you'll see that the path starts opening. You'll see that the people that you need starts coming to you. That's what I'm asking you to do. Mike Martinez, don't, don't leave this to chance. Make the move. Make yourself the one that, 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 that brings to you. Make yourself the attractive personality, the attractive person that brings the things to them as opposed to just letting life happen the way it does, right? You don't want that. You want to be the specific person that brings things to you. Mike Martinez, test it. Test it. I'll be speaking to you soon.